Today we're doing two MLB player props here on Price Picks. For Wednesday, March 20th, you guys, this game is early morning hours of March 20th. Keep that in mind. MLB opening day here. Definitely a different opening day than we're used to. Only two teams playing, uh, Dodgers versus the Padres here in South Korea. I'm taking a look at this matchup. Dodgers, uh, Padres, over-under is at 8.5 runs. Dodgers, a minus 205 um, on the money line. But again, welcome back. Uh, been a while since I've uploaded a video. Just been doing a lot of stuff unrelated to this youtube channel but now that mlb is back i'm um, gonna mlb to me one of the easier uh sports to essentially cap during the regular season because there is games every day um and because there is so much data behind uh the game of baseball overall so it makes it a little bit easier you can definitely expect daily mlb videos coming from me obviously uh nba once the playoffs start as well gets super exciting but i do appreciate everyone that continues to watch these videos continues to rock with me um Again, I'm not a gambling expert, and this is not financial advice. Simply just the plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions. Um, yeah, also, links are in the description below. You guys hop into our premium Discord. $9.30 per month is where I post all the plays I'm making on price picks. We also got other premium cappers in there as well. They post all their plays, research, and analysis. You guys, 31 cents per day. Super, super positive community in there. Highly, highly re recommend checking it out. Uh, yeah, link in the description below for that. But let's get into it, you guys. Two player props from this one single game here. MLB opening day 2024. Super exciting time. Uh, let's just get into it. So the first play I'm targeting is going to be Glass now. Over six strikeouts now. Like I said, there is a lot of data and research that goes into baseball already, so it makes it a little bit easier to kind of do a deep dive on these types of uh, of these plays here. So Dodgers being favorites in this one, um, I think the Padres do have a sneaky good team. If you guys are unaware, I am a Dodger fan. I am a L.A. sports fan, so uh, I do follow the Dodgers the Dodgers pretty closely here. But Glasnow has had a really strong spring. Um, obviously got off to slightly maybe a, a rocky start here, but we take out these last, his last uh, two starts here uh, in the month of March for the Dodgers he threw three innings had five strikeouts on in 23 pitches just absolutely dominant I mean if you have five strikeouts in 23 pitches just absolutely disgusting he threw 19 strikes um, and then San Francisco just uh what seven days ago a week ago he threw 5.1 innings and had eight strikeouts on 36 pitches so just a dominant performance by Tyler Glasnow in the spring uh, as he is the you know number one pitcher in this rotation with Yamamoto as well um, but I think Glasnow pitching in this lineup with all of the Dodgers offense that they do have obviously pitching in you know the team that he grew up rooting for i think just comfortability level should be pretty easy and at an all-time high for tyler glasnow i'm expecting him to have a have a really strong season um but if you even go back to last season if you were betting on price picks last season baseball and you saw tyler glasnow at six you would smash the over right i think he closed last season like with his strikeout line being like eight and a half sometimes even uh, nine flat so at six I think elite push potential at bare minimum, right, for Tyler Glass. Now, we look over on Outlier. There's a link in the description. You guys can get a seven-day free trial with Outlier. This is a research betting tool that I do use every single day, you guys. Super. They made a ton of upgrades to the website and to the mobile app as well. The mobile app, 10 out of 10. Um, again, like I said, they've made a, a bunch of updates to the app and to the website, just making it so, so much easier to, to do research. So even going back to last season, right, Tyler Glass no pushed this line or went over this line in um, – what is this like 80 20 of 22 games last season 20 of 22 starts last season he had at least six strikeouts his current odds over five and a half strikeouts is minus 172 so obviously juiced odds like that price picks is going to have this at six um but you can see the hit rate from tyler glass now last season now tyler glass now last season right third highest strikeouts per nine innings in baseball behind spencer strider and hunter green 12.2 strikeouts per nine inning you guys a 33 if you look at the strikeout percentage you guys second highest strikeout percentage in all of baseball 33.4 right so you're talking about you know tyler glass knows second highest if spencer strider was pitching in this game his, his line would be at eight maybe even eight and a half right for opening day so at Tyler Glasnow at six i think we get elite push potential at bare minimum his mlb live line is at four through the first three innings so we're talking about him people taking the over on this fourth first three innings if he has four uh five strikeouts through the first three innings i mean i think there's a great chance he can get us two more if not we get the absolute push equity here here at uh, at six and then also something that is interesting that i you know definitely taking into account here this game is going to be played in south korea like i said um it's going to be in a domed stadium and last season tyler glasnow pitched for the tampa bay rays 
um, and they play in a dome stadium. So last season, Tyler Glasnow at home, right? He pushed this, he pushed or went over this line in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of ten games last season. He had at least six strikeouts, so he's familiar with pitching in a dome. Um, I definitely think you know, regardless of where he's pitching, this is a pretty generous line in my opinion. Um, I think if this was over five and a half, it'd be the the play of the day without question. Um, but even towards the end of last season, right, the Padres struggled a little bit. We look at last twenty five games for the Padres. Uh, starting pitchers versus the Padres, right? And we just look at some guys had some pretty monster games against them. And again, season to season, so much different. Off season, so much different. Just sorry, I dropped my mic. If that was loud, um, off season, so much different. So I don't really want to put too much weight into this, but nonetheless, over five and a half minus one seventy two. Tyler Glasnow, third highest, second highest strikeout percentage and strikeouts per nine inning last season of any player in baseball. I like Tyler Glasnow over six strikes. The second play is going to be hits allowed, and it's going to be the opposing pitcher. It's going to be Darvish, right? And I don't want to have my Dodgers bias here, but you, Darvish, um, if we take a look at over an outlier, right? Currently, odds for this one, minus 127 on Caesars, minus 125 on Ben MGM to go over four and a half um, hits allowed. And even going back to last season, right? Over in eight of his last 10 starts, I believe this actually does not include the playoffs. Or it actually does. I think they face Milwaukee. I want to say they face Milwaukee. Maybe not. Um, but last season as a whole, 16 to 24 games. And we take a late, take away these, like, what is this? One, two, three, six, seven games. So his last uh, seven, six, 18 games. I mean, he's over this line in 15 of his last 18 games overall, right? And we take a look at you, Darvish, in the spring. Hasn't been pitching that well. Like, you have to, this is really our only option to look at this. Two innings, two hits. Two innings, two hits. 3.1 innings, four hits. Four innings, three hits. So we're talking about like 21 pitches he gave up four hits, 26 pitches he gives up four hits. I'm expecting him to probably go 85 to 90 pitches in this opening day. Um, and again, the Dodgers lineup, just super lethal uh, overall. Like we take a look at this Dodgers projected lineup, right? Obviously, you guys follow baseball, you're familiar. Uh, debatably, the best three, one, two, three hitters um, of all time. We're talking about three players that have all won MVP in this league, um, hitting one, two, three in this lineup. And um obviously like there's dodgers that have had some history uh versus you darvish like i wouldn't say a ton of players hit extremely well shohei's actually never faced him boogie Betts hits 214 freddie freeman hits around 286 um but last season you look at the top 10 player top 10 players against right-handed pitchers last season the dodgers have three of the three of the top 10 mookie Betts at nine shohei at five and freddie freeman at four so you darvish at four and a half has to face you know, three of the top 10 hitters in all of baseball against right-handed pitchers last season. I think it's just a tough spot. I think of all the lines for this game on the board, right? Those have the two, it has the most value, right? I'm not really trying to mess around with any hitter props in this one specifically. Um, so I do think both these play, those these pitcher props um, um, are pretty decent. And, and Darvish, I mean, since joining, uh, Joining the Padres, I mean, he, against the Dodgers, he's over the line in three of his last five games, three of his last five starts, essentially. But again, that doesn't really matter. Not too much weight on that one. But nonetheless, two YouTube videos, two YouTube plays for this MLB opening night, MLB day. I mean, most of us are going to wake up. I think almost all of us are probably going to wake up, and this game is halfway over. Um, but again, this game starts at 3 in the morning today. I mean, this video is going to go live probably... I want to say close to 12 to 13 hours before this game starts. So again, MLB will be opening day, you guys. Please drop a like on this video. Check out all the links in the description below. Just kind of give you want to give you guys a glimpse or a preview of what this research and what these videos are going to be like for this MLB season. Hit the subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.